need to find an English voice chip for you. My Chinese is a bit rusty. I have some machines to repair today, Ted. Have you seen my wrench? Thanks, Ted. You know, I could use some tea. Would you mind heating up some water for me? Yes, Ted, that's fine. Thank you, Lord. Of course, Ted. Thank you. Okay, Ted. Hey, what was that? levels. <sighs> we can't live like this though. The fuel isn't it? The mushroom forest? I guess I'm kind of used to it by now. I suppose you are. Not me though. I spent most of my days down there inside of it. Oh, you must be a mushroom forager. I've heard that's a dangerous job. Well, it ain't the most glamorous occupation, but with the right equipment, the poisonous fumes won't get to you. Gotta watch out for the locals though. There are bugs down there bigger than houses. How can you stand it? That sounds horrible. Somebody's gotta do it. We're the ones that bring back all the edible mushrooms. The ones that the people in the shanty town eat. Without us, there'd be no food for the poor folk down here. Well, it's a noble profession then. Be careful down there. I have some problems of my own to worry about now. Good luck. Hey, quite a few, isn't it? I don't have time to enjoy the scenery now. There's trash falling all over my house. So that's what all the banging and clanging I heard was. You'd better get all that taken care of, young lady. 
as soon as you let the upper people start walking all over you, they won't stop. There must be a good explanation for it. I'm going up there to find out what's going on. You might try talking to Shendi off at the carpenter's workshop. She helped me out once when I was in a jam. Just be careful up top. The upper folks don't much like us coming up there. I will. I've got to. See you around. Good luck. Oh, it's you, Ellie. Oh, dear. Hey, Jindy. Do you know why trash is falling on my house? Trash falling on your house? That sometimes happens. I wouldn't worry about it. No, I mean it's constantly falling, and there's lots of it. I'm worried that my roof will cave in. Oh, dear. That sounds awful. It must be those people from level 11. Sometimes they act like we don't even exist. Well, I'm going to go find out what's going on. Be careful, Ellie. There's no telling what those people up there are like. Oh, it's you, Ellie. Oh, dear. Hi, Jendi. What's troubling you? You seem upset. This chicken came fluttering down from the level above today, and as I was chasing it, I broke my only good pot. Now I have no way to cook it, and it's my husband's birthday. I was hoping to make him a special meal, but I can't without a pot. That's too bad, Jendi. Is there anything I can do? Not unless you have a spare pot I can use. Sorry, Jendi. I don't have a pot big enough for that chicken. Oh well, I suppose we'll just have toadstool porridge again. My poor husband, he works so hard, he'll be so disappointed. Manny likes beans. Oh, well... I like beans too. You do? Beans are marvellous, aren't they? They're soft and mushy and they come in all colours and shapes. Well, mostly just small and round though. Some are sweet and some are spicy. Have you seen any beans around here? Well, no, not around here. The Toadstool Tavern usually has beans on their menu. Manny went there today because Manny heard they had a new kind of bean. But it turns out that it's not really a bean at all. It's some kind of giant mushroom seed. Manny was so disappointed. No beans for Manny. Well, I'll have to go see for myself. Nice to meet you, Manny. Beans. Manny likes beans. Um, what kind of beans do you like? Manny likes lentil beans the most. Did you know that beans can be kept for a whole year before they go bad? They're almost magical. And they taste good. Magical beans, huh? I could use a little magic myself to stop all the trash from falling on my house. Mother told Manny a story once about Jack and his magical beans and how he planted them next to a cow and the cow became a huge cow and he climbed oh uh, no way I think it was a flower that grew out of the beans a really big one and he climbed up the 